Chalk paint's expensive, but you can make your own on a budget with an investment of only one dollar. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Hello friends, welcome back and welcome to my attic. My name is Elise and on my channel I share with you uh, tips and tricks for budget crafting, trash to treasure videos, thrift store hauls and more. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button below on this video. Uh, today I wanted to share with you something that uh, is of interest to most all crafters these days because it's very popular and that is chalk paint. If you've used chalk paint uh, for small or large projects, you know that it gets very expensive and uh, ordering it, uh, you know, it can take a while to get here. You're limited in the number of colors that it comes in. Uh, so it's a great product, but it has its limitations all right so for that reason a lot of people like to make their own at home and i have been doing that now for several years with mixed results i have found what i believe to be the best product to use for making my own chalk paint and i want to share that with you today uh, this particular product for one thing it is very affordable um, it's uh, you don't have to order it from somewhere and it makes a great smooth finish rather than, uh, for instance, Plaster of Paris will be very gritty and some other products will also be gritty. Uh, some also dry up very quickly like Plaster of Paris. It'll dry rock hard if it's left for very long. So what I have found to work the best for me is something that ends beautifully, gives you nice coverage and is very affordable. So I'm gonna pull you in a little bit closer to my work table and I'm gonna show you what to do. This is the product I found that works the best for making chalk paint. This is a spackling compound from the Dollar Tree. So when I said $1 investment, I wasn't kidding. And I actually prefer to buy it in these smaller tubs because if this uh, doesn't seal properly or it gets left open, you've only dried up a little bit of it. I had one tub, it was a large tub that I bought from Home Depot. It didn't seal properly. When I went to use it a couple months later, it was rock hard. I had to throw the whole thing away. Uh, so I prefer to buy it like this. I'll buy two, three at a time. Uh, use one, keep the other two, just open them up as I need them. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna need to do this is just some uh, either latex or acrylic paint. Um, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use this Valspar uh, enamel, uh, not enamel, but uh, latex sample. These are terrific for making your own chalk paint. You can usually get this eight ounces for about four dollars, so it's a very affordable alternative to buying pre-made chalk paint. Um, the one thing I personally really like about making my own chalk paint is that I can make uh, small amounts in colors that I might not use a lot. So that saves me a lot of expense of buying paint in larger quantities that I may only use uh, on very small projects. So this is a great way to make, um, you know, just a little sample size. You can mix this up in any size. Now, what I'm gonna do, normally when I mix this, I don't measure it out. I just mix it until it's a consistent See, that's going to work for me. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to give you specific instructions. We're going to mix this at a one part spackling compound to four part paint ratio. Okay, so let's do this. All right, and then we're going to get into our paint. And we've got one, two, three and four and it looks like this paint is a little thick it may have dried up just a little so I may have to add a little bit of water to this but we're gonna do this as is for right now okay and then okay 
And I didn't bring any, I don't have any paper towels out here. Okay, well, we'll do the best we can here. All right, so then you're just gonna mix it from there. And if I'm mixing a really large amount, I'll mix in uh, maybe half and half to start and get this nice and smooth and then I'll blend in the rest of the paint so that you have a nice smooth product. Okay, you can see there's some lumps in there. Oh, let me see if I can show you. Well, yeah, there's lumps in there and you're just gonna smash those down and keep mixing and mixing until it's nice and smooth. But you can see how quickly that mixes. If you've ever tried to mix uh, dry ingredients like baking soda or plaster of Paris, it does not mix this smoothly. It'll gum up. Uh, the other thing that plaster of Paris does is it dries on the walls of your uh, container and then it'll flake off and get in your paint. It doesn't, uh, plaster of Paris doesn't last very long either. If you uh, want to save this, you don't use it right away, uh, plaster of Paris will dry up in your container and it'll just turn rock hard. You won't be able to use it again. So with this, it lasts a long time. The reason it lasts longer is because it has a base that is a polymer compound. And a polymer is the same thing that's in acrylic paints and latex paints. And it, rather than just mixing it with water, uh, it's a, you know, it's like a mm, polymer medium, I guess. Uh, so it mixes nice and smoothly because of that. And it also lasts longer, doesn't dry as quickly. Okay, so once you've got that mixed nice and smooth, you're ready to start. That's it, that's all you have to do. So let's try out this little practice piece and see what the coverage is like. Let's see, is that showing up nicely? Okay, here we go. Look at that, that's beautiful coverage, isn't it? That is just as nice as any other, any professional chalk paint. Nothing showing, that's a single coat. See how nice that is? Beautiful. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, one thing that uh, you can do with this is you can mix this up at different increments. If you're going to put this into a sprayer you might want to add a little water to it or add less of the uh, compound. If you want a thicker, uh, goopier kind of uh, paint, maybe you want it to have a texture to it, then just add in more of the compound. It's not going to change your color or impact the way it dries or the way it behaves on your project. It's just going to make it thicker and it's going to give you some texture. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, I hope that you'll consider a like of this video and subscribing to my channel. And I will also be posting some new videos soon that uses this chalk paint. I'll be posting one for a terrarium snow globe and one to make Christmas Santa Clauses out of salt, uh, not Santa Clauses, snowmen out of salt shakers. So I hope you'll find those videos and watch those as well. Thanks very much and I will see you later in my attic.